Rome in what was described as a frank discussion in Rome Friday between Vatican department heads and German bishops over their contested synodal path reforms. A proposal to cease and desist the process was made and rejected. Sixty-two German bishops were in Rome this week for their ad limina visit. Which bishops' conferences make every few years in order to meet with the Pope and various Vatican departments to provide an update on local church affairs. Notably, the German bishops this week did not hold separate meetings with the Pope and Vatican Curial offices, but rather, in an unusual move, a joint meeting was scheduled with all of them together. However, Pope Francis reportedly did not attend, but met the German bishops Thursday. According to a Vatican statement released Friday night, the meeting between the German bishops and Vatican Curial officials had been planned for some time and was an opportunity to reflect together on the synodal path underway in Germany. Participation in missionary planning, priestly life today, women in church ministries and offices, and living in relationships that work living love and sexuality and in the couple relationship. Batsing also thanked Pope Francis, who was not present, for his ongoing synod of bishops on synodality, and for his recent decision to extend the process by another year. After Batsing finished, theological reports were then made by Cardinal Luis Ladaria, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, and Cardinal Mark Owlett, Prefect of the Dicastery for Bishops, both of whom spoke frankly and clearly about the concerns and reservations relating to the methodology, contents, and proposals of the synodal path. According to the Vatican Statement, Ladaria and Owlett proposed, for the benefit of the unity of the Church and her evangelizing mission, that the requests made as part of the German synodal path be folded into the broader, ongoing synod on synodality. In the open dialogue between German bishops and curial officials that followed, the importance and also the urgency of defining and deepening in some of the themes highlighted was stressed. Specifically in regards to church structures, priestly ministry and access to the priesthood, and Christian anthropology. At the same time there was a full awareness on the part of all of being on a journey with the entire holy and patient people of God, even in the confrontation between different opinions. The statement said, noting that many remarks touched on the centrality of evangelization and mission in the process, as well as the awareness of the unavailability of some themes. To this end, a proposal was made of applying a moratorium on the German synodal path, however, this proposal was rejected, but rather further reflection and mutual listening in light of the perplexities was encouraged. The meeting ended, according the Vatican, not with a clear decision, but with an agreement to continue listening and mutual dialogue in the coming months as the German synodal path moves forward. By Elise and Alan the Crocs